Imagine a structure so vast it seems to break every rule we once thought etched into the cosmos. Here, galaxies cluster in impossible threads stretching over a billion light years, demonstrating that our picture of a tamed, predictable universe might be only half the story. Today, we call it Kwipu, borrowing from the knotted cords once used by the Inca to keep records, a perfect metaphor for something that literally strings together cluster after cluster of galaxies, like knots in an interstellar rope. Just hearing of it raises a chilling question. If this is only one piece of the cosmic web, what else might lurk in the darkness beyond our feeble telescopes? That question has rattled astronomers, who stumble upon Kwipu's grand shape where it shouldn't exist, with a length we can barely comprehend. Kwipu doesn't obey the neat shape we learned about cosmic filaments in textbooks. It's beyond typical supercluster definitions, so enormous that it shrinks everything else we've studied into a mere afterthought. Yet, part of the wonder is how close it is in cosmic terms, sitting between 425 and 800 million light years away. If we can't see something this gargantuan right under our cosmic nose, what does that imply about the rest of the universe? In just a moment, we'll unravel the hints, the advanced X-ray surveys, and the cosmic mapping that revealed a new frontier. But keep in mind, there's a lot more behind the scenes than even its discoverers understand. So if you're ready to plunge into the deep end of cosmic complexity, prepare for a revelation that shakes the foundation of how we view our place in the vast expanse. It might be tempting to disregard Kwipu as just another giant object in the universe, but that would miss the point. The surprise is in how it challenges our core assumptions, from cosmic evolution models to the precise measurement of the Hubble constant. Kwipu is a recognized superstructure an assembly of galaxy clusters, each containing potentially thousands of individual galaxies, but even calling it super might be an understatement. Kwipu spans an unfathomable 1.3 billion light years, or over 400 megaparsecs. That's more than 13,000 times the length of our Milky Way galaxy. In terms of mass, we're dealing with numbers so huge that they all but break the human mind. About 200 quadrillion solar masses dwarfing even the heftiest superclusters we've identified so far. So how was Kwipu uncovered? Spotting it directly in the optical domain would be daunting, given the random but thick cosmic dust and the potential confusion with foreground objects. Enter the power of X-ray astronomy. By scanning the cosmos for the high-energy light emitted by scorching intracluster gas, hot enough to glow in X-rays, astronomers have effectively created a map of the densest cosmic filaments. This method was part of the Cosmic Large-Scale Structure in X-rays, or Classics Cluster Survey, which covered about 86% of the sky. The rest is obscured by the Milky Way, a zone still filled with unknown structures. Within that 86%, Kwipu emerged, a bone-chilling, knotted cord that extends in multiple filaments, each one an architectural pillar of cosmic matter. And incredibly, these filaments aren't static, they're teeming with galaxies merging, forming, and occasionally dying, adding to the complexity that no mere blueprint of cosmic distance can fully capture. The stacked mass alone can tug on regions far beyond its immediate neighborhood, like cosmic puppetry on a scale that warps our perception. Are we witnessing a hallmark feature in our universe or an outlier that indicates entire chapters of cosmology remain unwritten? Yet here's the paradox. Standard cosmological models never predicted we'd see structures quite this large. Certainly, large filamentary networks, often dubbed the cosmic web, are well documented. But Kwipu takes it to a whole new realm, drawing questions about whether our universe is more inhomogeneous than we care to admit. One theory suggests that, while massive, Kwipu might be part of an even grander formation that remains hidden behind the zone of avoidance that unreachable segment of sky overshadowed by our own galactic plane. Another possibility is that Kwipu itself isn't a permanent fixture. Some cosmic simulations indicate that over eons, superstructures dissolve into separated clusters or shift out of alignment as the universe expands and dark energy demands its cosmic toll. In that sense, Kwipu might represent a fleeting arrangement, but don't dismiss it yet. Right now, in this cosmic epoch, it dominates the region with at least 68 known galaxy clusters. If that's only the portion we can see, imagine what else might reside just out of sight, 
masked by dust or hidden by the Milky Way's heft. Combine that with the fact that Kwipu alone accounts for a substantial fraction of the matter in its surveyed region. Some estimates place all five major superstructures uncovered by classics, including Kwipu, as containing 25% of the entire matter distribution. That's enough mass to strongly influence local gravitational flows, potentially shifting how we interpret data on the cosmic microwave background, CMB, or how we calibrate redshifts to find the Hubble constant. Could this single structure, ironically named after an ancient system of numbering, be rewriting our cosmic calculations? This magnitude forces us to address a bigger question. At what point do we recognize that our universe may house yet unknown players, each powerful enough to bend starlight, cosmic expansions, and perhaps the trajectory of entire galaxy families? Is it possible that Kwipu isn't just a footnote in cosmic history, but a major piece of the puzzle we've neglected for far too long? Think about the sense of wonder you experience when you look up at the night sky. Now multiply that feeling a millionfold. Kwipu isn't just a piece of data. It's an awe-inspiring reminder that the universe can and will surprise us. Most of us find comfort in the idea that the universe is uniform on large scales, governed by expansions that are well-modeled by our equations. But reality can leave us breathless. Imagine the extraordinary cosmic tapestry with filaments bridging galaxies like cosmic highways. These filaments are brimming with scorching hot gas, forming knots where matter lumps into clusters. Each cluster curates thousands of galaxies, and each galaxy can harbor billions of stars. Layer upon layer, the mass and complexity mount, overshadowing any of our petty illusions of cosmic control. Kwipu's unstoppable gravitational pull extends far beyond its visible boundary, influencing the motion of local galaxy groups, maybe even ours to some degree. We're drawn in like mariners to elusive cosmic siren. That's not just poetic flourish. It's grounded in real measurements that track how local galaxies move relative to the cosmic microwave background. Shifts that add up when a superstructure of unimaginable density warps the region. This sense of cosmic drama resonates with the integrated sachs wolf effect, one of those phenomena that modifies the temperature of the CMB as photons climb in and out of gravitational wells. Kwipu's presence isn't just an academic curiosity. It might literally be etched in the eldest signals we can detect about our universe's past. With each discovery, the more we realize these enormous objects shape everything from star formation timelines to redshift measurements, we find ourselves glancing into the cosmic darkness, compelled by an instinctive sense of wonder tinged with humility, asking, could Kwipu's gravitational influence be part of a chain reaction that ensures the universe remains as dynamic and ephemeral as our earthly existence? Pressed against these revelations, you might wonder, just how does Kwipu weigh in on emergent concepts like the Hubble tension, the ongoing disagreement about the universe's rate of expansion measured via different techniques? Some astrophysicists suspect that vast superstructures like Kwipu could subtly skew local measurements or distort the background signals from the earliest cosmic epochs. The logic is straightforward. Enormous clumps of mass create deep gravitational wells that alter redshifts more than we might predict, injecting a local bias in calculations. Others point to the rising hope that ongoing or future sky surveys, including more advanced X-ray and radio telescopes, might peer beyond the Milky Way's blind spot to detect more filaments and possibly superstructures larger than Kwipu itself. That's not just idle speculation. Our cosmic horizon is brimming with unanswered mysteries. Already, the classic survey identified four other massive superstructures, though none as mesmerizing as Kwipu. Together, all five hold nearly half of the observed clusters and about 30% of all galaxies in the region. Meanwhile, there's still 14% of the sky hidden by the Milky Way, where new behemoths could be lurking. If a single structure can overshadow so much matter that it commands a chunk of the universe's gravitational layout, imagine the cumulative effect of multiple structures. We stand at the threshold of an era where, ironically, the largest traces of cosmic matter might remain hidden in plain sight. The more we see, the more we realize we do not see it all reinforcing that cosmic cartography is never finished. We hear scientists talk about ephemeral cosmic expansions and dark energy dominating the universe's future. 
Perhaps these superstructures are the last vestiges of a more connected cosmic tapestry that is slowly unraveling over the eons. Kwipu's presence hints that the universe's story is layered with complexities we're only beginning to decode, ramping up the tension about everything we think we know. Are you prepared to face the possibility that the final cosmic map might be far more complicated, weaving new labyrinths in the starlit fabric of existence? And yet, Kipu might only be the tip of an enormous cosmic iceberg, a blueprint for even more striking discoveries. It's easy to see a structure of this magnitude and assume it's all we should hope for, even calling it the largest known structure in the universe. But the universe has a knack for overthrowing any claim of finality. The possibility that a more colossal arrangement awaits us is tantalizing. Meanwhile, the astronomers behind the classic survey remind us that these superstructures have a lifespan. Over billions of years, cosmic expansion and gravitational interactions cause them to fragment and merge, forging brand new alignments while unraveling the old. What if Kwipu's sheer scale and presence right now is simply the latest scene in an ongoing cosmic saga, shaped by processes that started billions of years ago and that will continue to morph everything around it? Understanding Kwipu means grappling with these cosmic dramas. The universe, we're learning, is not just large, it's profoundly surprising, always orchestrating the unexpected. To know where we came from and where we're headed, we can't ignore the filaments that connect entire families of stars and galaxies. This structure is more than a puzzle piece. It's a living record of matter's grand arrangement, a cosmic timeline of how clusters form and fade, and an active influencer of galactic paths. If five superstructures can collectively hold a quarter of the matter in their sky region, how certain can we be that we've glimpsed everything? Perhaps bigger webs remain hidden by cosmic dust or beyond our observational thresholds. Possibly, Kwipu is only the opening act in a grand cosmic ballad that no human mind can fully foresee. But for the moment at least, we have Kwipu as an undeniable testament that the universe's ability to dwarf us is infinite, and that each time we think we've reached a boundary, the cosmos quietly laughs and stretches it farther still. So what if in the future, we find something even larger, stretching beyond Kwipu's 1.3 billion light-year domain and rewriting our textbooks once again? The thought should rattle us all, and perhaps it should inspire. Look beyond your assumptions and imagine how the story of our universe may still be at its early chapters. Let's keep the conversation alive. Do you think there are bigger cosmic webs that dwarf Kwipu? Or are we already at the brink of the universe's upper limits? Drop your theories below, because the real breakthroughs often start with questioned assumptions. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and join our quest to stay one step ahead of the universe's next great revelation.